They need to be in school. This uh, program, Res Solidaria, is almost uh, outreaching 100 uh, municipalities. And we've been able to go down to extreme poverty. And sometimes, uh, for these women, it's important to go to these uh, villages to feel what these women feel. 29 years old, seven children. What's the future for this mother? We need to help her out, but not to help her to support her on a permanent basis, but give her all the possibilities that uh, as a government we need to give her. And we've had an amazing success. The first lady, my wife, is uh, heading the program Ternura, uh, where we have these uh, children in a suitable place with professional to take care of them and so forth and so forth. We've made progress. Uh, in a few minutes uh, I'll have to address the United Nations and I'm going to have to give a report of our success. Out of 35, 15 goals have already been fulfilled but we're not satisfied because for sure by the time when we'll be able to reach these goals and there will be another Salvadorian president addressing the United Nations, other problems will come up. I'd like to tell you that the El Salvador summit, the Ibero-American summit headed by the King, by President uh, Rodriguez Zapatero and all my colleagues from Latin America. In Chile, I asked for the name of uh, youth and development, and it's amazing the amount of information that we have had of how to link uh, the development of uh, uh, the youth with their first employment or with tourism and all activities. And we're going to sign for the first time documents which will become policies for the youth. I'd like to tell you that uh, before uh, joining you in this uh, uh, conversation, I was telling uh, a representative who knows uh, our Minister of Education to agree on something. Uh, you are there behind us. We're ready. We're ready to do this the best possible way. We launched uh, at the same time in 2004 and recently in, in, in the face of crisis a program called Alliance for Family, but uh, Allegiance for Family. But before that, healthy schools, the food for kids, many of them, um, they gave this up because they wouldn't even eat at their houses. And we gave them food. Uh, the World Bank has recommended this. In the view of this crisis, you need to uh, increase this type of social programs. We're doing it with the Ternura program, with a healthy school. It's a way of drawing the kid's attention, but finally he will stay. And we all know the importance of ages between zero and five, because this is when the brain of a young child can be impaired. We can waste his life for, uh, in, his, in its entirety. I wouldn't want to talk about uh, benchmarks, because in all countries we experience progress. Undoubtedly, some more, some less. But I believe that the most important thing is that your opinion comes amidst a very uh, critical situation of uh, nourishment, of the high cost of food. And this requires political decisions that need to be transformed into a concrete, real document. I will commit to to this in El Salvador. The political indicators perhaps are the main showcase that governments need to have in order to uh, show our work, or to present our work of solidarity that governments need to have with each other. And adopting a motto, I don't remember whether it was from UNICEF or UNESCO saying that the only promises that are valid are the ones that are fulfilled. Who said that? Well, I did see it somewhere in the calendar. Well, OK, today President Saka says it. And I'm going to reiterate again, because uh, uh, people ask us to delve into these uh, issues. I will commit myself, Shakira, Alejandro, to review all this issue. We have increased uh, the number of students uh, in registered, uh, mortal, mortality rate uh, has dropped. 
Well, I wouldn't want to monopolize this microphone. I would like to give the opportunity to my colleagues to talk, uh, also because I need to go to the United Nations. You already have my commitment. We need to work on this document. As soon as I get in the car, I will speak to the Minister of Education so that she will be able to work with a bit. I believe it's amazing to have Ambassador Moreno here because we have already financed this. We already have the finances for this. Not as a loan, but that will not uh, be returned. Yes, as a grant. Uh, yes, we will support you, Shakira, when it comes to that. I believe that this foundation, when uh, I was invited and now that I understand how it works, I believe that uh, it's necessary to have political commitments. Without political commitments, just like the United Nations uh, set out uh, the uh, um, MDGs, this is a more important commitment because these children are not the future, they're the present. So my congratulations, you can count on us and the Ibero-American Summit, which uh, is a summit of all Latin American countries with, together with Spanish, Andorra, Portugal, and for sure, it's going to have as a core issue further on, a President Kirchner in a private meeting, we can make progress and then we can publish a great document uh, where President uh, Lugo, they all have confirmed that they will be at uh, San Salvador and they will be welcome like at home. Thank you. Wonderful commitments. We're going to hear in a moment from the man with the money also. Uh, a, a good friend. Uh, we're coming to you, uh, Luis Alberto. So uh, it's my really uh, great pleasure and honor to introduce next the president of Argentina, President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would first like to congratulate Shakira and Alejandro because these days we're living in to see two successful people, two talented individuals who could also spend their lives having fun and doing other things, to see that they should be raising the profile of these matters, that they should put lights and mics on to shed light on issues such as poverty and children is no minor achievement. I think this is something we should celebrate. The second matter is Latin America, quite an issue. We are not the poorest of continents, but we are the most unfair of continents in which income is most inequitably distributed. Children suffering from malnutrition, with jobless parents, but at the same time, others have absolutely everything that the majority lack. Jeffrey will think I'm right, he's an economist, and they say that uh, what some people have too little of is what others have too much of. So I think that tackling the issue of children is particularly important. Of course, in our country, we have both federal and uh, local and provincial programs, our country being the one with the highest degree of social development in Latin America, according to UN figures, and possibly the one that has the highest degree of literacy and of children attending schools. But I think one of the most important things we need to achieve in the continent, and by we I mean we the governments, is to have state policies focusing on the family, because ultimately the crisis suffered by children from ages zero to six uh, reflects the crisis of families, and especially those groups that either have no work or whose income is not enough to be able to give their children education, health, and security.